At first glance, this equation looks relatively simple. But don't be fooled. There's a remarkably elegant solution hiding within that allows you to sidestep a difficult calculation. This is your moment. Pause the video and give this problem a genuine attempt. See if you can find all values of x before we proceed. The most intuitive approach is to multiply everything out. This is the brute force method. It is mathematically valid, but let's carefully examine where this path leads. First, multiplying pairs of factors gives us two quadratics. Now we must multiply these two expressions term by term. We begin by distributing the x squared term from the first factor. Next, we distribute the 8x term. And finally, we distribute the 15. Now we collect all the resulting terms and group them by their power. Combining these like terms gives us the full quartic polynomial. To solve this, we need to set the equation to zero. We subtract nine from both sides. This leaves us with the final form. Solving this directly is extremely difficult. This path is a computational trap. The secret to solving this efficiently is not brute force, but pattern recognition. Look again at the original equation, specifically at the constants. Notice the symmetry. 3 plus 9 is 12, and 5 plus 7 is also 12. This is the key. Hold on. Multiplication is commutative. Why should rearranging the terms change the difficulty? A fantastic question. We aren't changing the mathematical result. We are strategically rearranging to expose a hidden structure that collapses the problem's complexity. We group the pairs that sum to 12. Now we expand each bracket separately. First, we expand the first bracket using FOIL. Combining the middle terms gives us this quadratic. Now, we repeat the process for the second bracket. And this reveals the pattern. A common term x squared plus 12 x appears in both factors. Ah, I see. That common block is what simplifies everything. It's the breakthrough. This repeated expression is a clear signal to use substitution. We will substitute this block with a single variable, u. This transforms our equation into a simpler quadratic in u. We expand the left side term by term. Combining the middle terms gives us this expanded quadratic. Subtracting 9 from both sides puts it in standard form, ready to be solved. We will use the quadratic formula to solve for u. We substitute our values. a is 1, b is 62, and c is 936. Next, we calculate the value inside the square root, the discriminant. The discriminant is a perfect square, 100. Taking the square root simplifies our expression further. This gives us two distinct values for u, negative 26 and negative 36. Now, we solve for x in each case. Case 1. We set x squared plus 12ex equal to negative 26. First, we put it in standard form. Applying the quadratic formula gives us the square root of 40 in the numerator. We simplify the radical as 40 is 4 times 10. Finally, dividing by 2 gives our first two solutions. Case 2. We set x squared plus 12 x equal to negative 36. Again, we put the equation in standard form. We recognize this as a perfect square trinomial, which factors into x plus 6 times x plus 6. This gives us our final solution, x equals negative 6. But there is an even more direct way that leverages the deep symmetry of the problem. Look again at the original equation, specifically at the constants. The constants 3, 5, 7, and 9 are symmetric around 6. This suggests a substitution centered at x equals negative 6. Let's define y as x plus 6. In terms of y, our factors become beautifully symmetric. We can reorder them to create two differences of squares. Expanding each pair gives us this simple form. Let's expand the left side completely. 
Combining the middle terms gives us a simple equation. Subtracting 9 from both sides leaves us with this. Next, we factor out a common term of y squared. By the zero product property, either the first factor is zero or the second factor is zero. This immediately gives the solutions for y zero and plus or minus the square root of 10. Finally, substituting back using x equals y minus 6 gives us our three solutions. Let's summarize our complete solution set. Distinct real solutions. x equals negative 6 and x equals negative 6, plus or minus the square root of 10. Counting multiplicity. x equals negative 6 is a double root, so there are four roots total. Graphically, we see the polynomial's curve intersecting the line y equals 9 at precisely these three points. The point at x equals 6 is a local minimum, touching the line, which confirms its nature as a repeated root. As a final step, we verify our solution. Let's check x equals 6. Plugging negative 6 into the original expression simplifies each factor. Multiplying the first two terms gives positive 3. Next, we multiply by 1. And the final multiplication confirms the result is 9. It is correct. Let's also verify the square root of 10 solutions. Let me equal plus or minus the square root of 10, where y equals x plus 6. The expression becomes y minus 3 times y minus 1 times y plus 1 times i plus 3, which factors as y squared minus 9 times y squared minus 1. Since y squared equals 10, we get 10 minus 9 times 10 minus 1, which equals 1 times 9 equals 9. This verifies that x equals negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 10 indeed satisfy the original equation. To summarize our complete solution, x equals negative 6 as a double root and x equals negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 10. Distinct real solutions, x equals negative 6 and x equals negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 10. Counting multiplicity, four roots total, with x equals negative 6 repeated twice. All solutions verified by substitution. That's incredible. The centering trick solved it in just a few lines. A small observation about symmetry completely trivialized a difficult problem. And that is the essence of mathematical problem solving. It is not about brute computational power, but about the search for underlying patterns and structure. Finding symmetry is often the key to elegance and simplicity. Thank you for joining this mathematical journey. If you enjoyed this challenge, please like and subscribe for more problems that sharpen your mind.